Good afternoon and welcome to the SCG for the big clash between Sydney and the Fremantle Dockers. 24 degrees expected here today. Light rain, but it is constant. It has been going on for several hours now. Consequently, everything is soaked. And we're even forecast for thunder later on in the day. So we're looking for some fireworks here today. The Dockers are looking for their second win. Sydney looking for their first after a credible loss at the hands of last year's Premiers. Very unlucky last week. They could have defeated the reigning Premier Brisbane, but for a Jason Ball shot at goal. But uh, they have got the kind of lineup the Sydney Swans that can kick a big number. And it will be a kind of game this afternoon, regardless of the conditions, that might see some big scores kick. There is the Sydney Swans lineup. As you can see, there are a lot of players that uh, have now got, I think, universal credibility across the AFL as being superstars of the competition. Hall and O'Loughlin, just two of them, Dermot. Happy to be at home as well. I mean, they are very accurate kicks at goal. Let's not forget that it is a 45-metre line here today for the inside yes. 50 syndrome. These boys, uh, Lee Matthews wrote an article last year about how accurate they are at kicking at goals in the Sydney, uh, in the Sydney lineup. Maybe because the pockets aren't all that deep here either, so you get a shot. The angle is not too bad. And here are the boys that often send it forward from defence. And the big, long kick from defence with no messing around with the handball in these slippery conditions would be very important this afternoon too. They get a real sense of urgency, don't they, yeah. those two, when they get, get the ball in the back half. They will take on opponents. They'll yeah. give you a chance to tackle them down, but they get a sense of urgency. And it's all about getting straight down the yeah. line. They'll try and take them on, run around them, rather than chip wide or go out like that. They will try, on, try and take the centre of the ground there. Fremantle's line-up, Dermot, they've got a couple of changes, and the changes are fairly big ones. Headland and Polak are both out of the Fremantle lineup, and coming in Ben Cunningham and also Riley Dunn for just his second game. So a couple of massive changes there for the Dockers. Dermot, thank you very much. Been out of the centre, brought back some bad memories. This is a beautiful drying ground, so it's actually very nice out here. Round two action, away we go, Sandilands. Knocks it down. It's slippery, as you can see. Carr went to ground. Fosdyke moved at about 10 metres. And there's going to be a free kick. I think it'll go to Bell for a push in the back. JB, I just want to ask you, we didn't get a chance there. Uh, Maxfield pointed pretty quickly to the right-hand side of screen. Is that the uh, anticipated scoring end? Really, the breeze is coming straight at you and uh, the commentators. It's uh, coming across the ground and there isn't much of it. Bell driving towards half-forward Longview. Distance might be a problem. Sets it up, looks good. Dockers get the first. Didn't take long for goods to be sent to where the ball is. Ball to do the ruck work. Sandilands with him. Paul Roos said he has forgiven Jason Ball, but took him a good day after last week. The Fosdyke wobbles it towards half forward. O'Loughlin's there. Ball bounces nicely for him. Pumped it down to Keith. Around the body towards Hall. A full forward. He was held, Barry Hall. Barry Hall. Should make no mistake, does make no mistake, and scores a level. Wasn't that sort of kick, was it? No, <laughs> we might have been better off had it been that was sort of kick. Came off the boot in that fashion, though. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's mastered that. That'd be cruel. Tossed it in the pocket, balls in front, directs it down. McFarlane, though, on the road, in trouble. Slips a hand pass away. Hazelby swings it towards the outer side. This will be interesting. McManus leads in the race close to the boundary line, gathers. He in turn is gathered. Is that holding the ball? Yes, it is. Maxfield, terrific run down. Stewie Maxfield. Kept on coming, or is it? No, it's out of bounds. What's this again? Well, some days it's holding the ball. Some days it's not. Yesterday at the MCG, it certainly was. He made the motion like he was going to kick it, so he probably didn't have prior opportunity. Just two balancing steps before his attempt. Nice dike to Williams. Canelli inside the centre square. Takes on a tackler. He too thought about bouncing. Discretion, the better part of Ballard touches it down. Goes to Fosdyke. Now Bolton looks inside the 45. Interesting kick right on the line. Oh, no, no, no. Matthews has taken the mark. Bear in mind, it's only 45. Goes wide to Maxfield, who's a thumping kick from 47. Sets it up. It's tight. I think it's good. It is. Quick thinking. In front of the goal. The goal square is bigger. They've done everything to this ground. Carr smothered off the boot. Sandlins knocks it down. Padlet snaps. Oh, class. Sheer class. Plenty of players around the ball. Throw it up. 
over the top goods into the path of Barry down he went James looping hand pass to no one in particular Farmer in trouble eventually it comes to Cunningham centering kick who's on the end of the block the only one facing it Dennis he had a good concentration oh. a lot happening around him plays off kicks a goal his second well done quick thinking good start for the Dockers lead by seven points we tick into time on here, opening term, and the Swans get the takeaway. The all-important takeaways this afternoon. McFarlane, brilliant game last week. Wobbles it along the wing, but it's all Sydney and Goods. Brownlow medalist, the one of the three from last year. Pumps it long, hoping for a Lachlan big fly over the top. Nice mark by Riley Dunn, the late inclusion. Good Goes hands. wide to the other. Late inclusion, Ben Cunningham takes it off half-back. McManus calls him to kick it long, so he does exactly that. Matthews is with McManus, oh. almost. Matthews stole it back. Barry Hall's on the move, and he marks it at half forward flank for the Swans. A long way from home goes to O'Loughlin. Can't get to the half volley. Tucked into the boundary, wants to keep it alive, does keep it alive. But once again, McFarlane will do some mopping up at half back for the Dockers. Oh. Chip kick, not so good. It's ugly to watch at the moment. Saddington. High towards full forward. Hayden, one grab, not the second. Doesn't take it out of play. Ball still alive. Chance here for Williams. Screws it around. Kirk in the box seat. Takes the mark. From 25, lines them up, and we've got a one point ball game. It is an absolute merry-go-round this one. Cars left uh, his opponent, Kirk, now. So Fosdog picks him up in the goal square at the other end. Now the ball's down there. Good. Farmer Cunningham screws it around the goal square. Getting back, Kirk. Bell slip at the inopportune time. And they peel off. Leo Barry wants to use the long kick more often than not, but flips it over to Fosdog and Maxfield. Is away in space on the outer side. Two minutes from quarter time. Oh, Goes with a long kick coming hard out of oh. Lachlan. Almost scored his own man there. Chance here. Paul Bevan slides it through. His first goal in league football. Paul Bevan. Played a half in the reserves, I think, for East Fremantle. Under an assumed name and was <laughs> drafted. And now a free kick. Under 19, he was, yeah, under 19s he played. That was you know about this, I'm sure. Oh, you offend it. It sounds like something you would concoct. Hall's got a free kick. He probably played in the platypus suit as well. So Hall's got the ball about 40 metres out and should kick this. Never seen again over there, McFarlane. He's back there now. Meantime, Barry Hall, important kick, close to quarter time, gives it a right, beautiful kick, gun barrel strike. And you've got to get out there, Tino, and Dennis, as you're both well aware, when you have to get out there with a few injuries under your belt, week in, week out, and that's a job then. Ball, got a fist to it, Bell at the back, couldn't control it, Fosdyke, soccer's off the ground towards midfield, McManus. Working hard, Gilmore sent away on his left side, floats one inside the oh, 45, well done, Crouch, stepping around Farmer, down he goes, player is in the corridor here, he's too slow here, no 50, Crouch, side on, and now Matthews, James, Matthews has to wait, beautiful kick, found him, Towards half forward and ball, knocked away by Sandlins. Well, almost. Ball, first hands and last. Kicks inside the 50, or 45 as it is today, and the mark is taken by O'Keefe. Well, have it die hard, O'Keefe. 50 metres out towards the square. Hall with straight, turns around and kicks the goal. This third. For the Swans, Walker thought he was going to get the takeaway. Shammer, Bell. Court oh. was that at disposal? Umpire said play on. Camera again can't break free. Car picked up by Crouch, slipped it through nicely. They've got it out. Kirk to Williams, short ball, fingernail on it. O'Loughlin, handball not as good as the picker. Pavlich 
And now the dock is away and a race on. Waterhouse might get there first. The dock bounced nicely for him, finally picks it up. Not a lot of places to go. Shammer calls for it, that's ignored. Oh, well playing Clive. Spins around short towards Methurst oh. and McManus. But once again, they mess it up. About to blow it open, the Swans. Fosdyke long, finds Barry Hall. Good, strong hands. Canelli, he can kick it from here. From outside, 45, drop punt. He's home. The wax is still running, you can't hear us. <laughs> Uh, enjoying the sense around experience it's like earthquake too now uh, free kick's been pulled out it's going to simmons chance for a late score here to the dockers and they need some momentum cunningham left foot kick what was its way inside 50 drops short and pavlich made it look perfect the south australian drives it home and the dockers have a chance here. It happening around the pack still. Bodies cannoning into other bodies. Here's McManus to Shammer. Shammer. Little shimmy from Shammer. Kicks inside the 45. Over the oh. top there it is again. What a mark. He's hurt his face there. Oh. Plowed into the turf. Big fella. And Pavlich. Watch his face come over then. This is part of his fortune. The face. He's got to be careful. Channel 9 personality. Oh. Bad landing. What a mark. What a mark. How do you get that weight off the ground? So importantly shaken. Ah, well done. But not stirred. What a wonderful goal. Wonderful goal by Pavlich. To local New South Welshman, although of course Craig Bolton had a stint with the Lions. Working it between them at the moment. Bolton playing 29 games for Brisbane. From the back pocket, he goes wide. James, the father's son rule, takes the mark half-back flank for the Swans. Goes for the long drop punt, hoping for Crouch. What a house! Beauty. Strong grab by Clive Waterhouse. Known for a lot of things, but seven goals against the Eagles certainly put the spotlight on him. Goes to Sandilands. That was a while ago, though. Sandilands long towards oh. Fulford. Play it down. Umpire says it was illegal. And Farmer might get the free. He's dead lead by 24 points. And he puts it through. Six points to difference. Yeah. Yeah, this won't be a long kick. Short one, very short, too short. Kevin gets on the end of it. Steps inside the 45. No, Stands at Goldwood. That's punishment. Bell pleads his case. Sort of brush the post. Nothing doing. Goal to Sydney. Peter Bell gave up the goal there, but argued that the ball touches the post here. Watch him bottom left hand post there. And with the goal, umpire suggests it. Now he's the kind of bloke that if it if it does go through, he's not going to argue it. So maybe that's one for what's your decision? Having given the goal away, though, you're always going to have a crack at trying to make up for it, aren't you? He kicks it out of the middle here to try and make up for it. Medhurst slaps it beautifully to McManus, screws it around. Waterhouse! 100 gamer. And he brings the margin back again. We've still got a ball game. Going to be a good player. This is Clive off the 45. Oh, my man! <laughs> I'm blaming. He's back in town. <laughs> Clive. Race on. Uh, Williams. Well, he stole that. He stole it from Walker and spears the pass. Wood's got a hand on it. Well played. Knocked it down to Bell. Dockers will come out of trouble here. Shammer. To the outer side wing, good movement. Brown's got some space. It sits for him. Pavlich is short. Clever. Over his head. Long Muir. No. Just couldn't get the hand on it. Canelli. They might come away. Shammer might steal it back. Push in the back though. Maxfield will get it. And set a half back for the Swans. Well done. Stewie Maxfield put the body in. Needed to. Keeps moved to the wing. Swans being challenged. And keeps got it now. Goes down towards left half forward. Not a particularly good kick, but in the right direction. Off hands, Hayden, slapped by Schneider, comes across to McFarlane. Boots it high towards the other side. Shammer! 
Almost the mark. Socket away by Brown. Stopped by Ball. Slips a hand pass to Kirk. Forward of the wing. Short to the 45. The mark is taken by Saddington. Plays on O'Keefe. About 50 metres out. Bends it back. Oh, what a goal. Bit of celebration going on out there between some of the Swans boys who've uh, been participant in kicking that goal. There's a lot of hard work here yet to be had. The soccer off the ground, Jason Ball was just too big. It was a good <laughs> he stop, really. He, he just it? covered too much space in front of the uh, soccer kick off the ground. And this one I thought could have been centred. Barry Hall had had his opponent done here. Um, Robert Hadrill, half back flank. Five and a half minutes remaining. Dockers searching for the lead before three-quarter time. And Pavlich, one of the men who inspired them in the second term, goes with a big, long 60-metre drop punt towards Dunn. Canelli thumped it down. Bolton Jude. Now, did he get one too high? He did, according to the umpire. As we see a replay of the Jeff Farmer screen, incident here. Left-hand side of the screen there. He's running in. He's running into his own teammate. Yeah. I don't think Sandlins was aware either. Don't worry. Jason Ackermanis will blame the serial pest <laughs> for it during the week. So who was he playing on at the time? There's Matthews from half back up towards the wing man. Launching himself oh. in front. Robert Thompson almost the mark. Bevan slips it away. Jude Bolton. There he is. As if on cue, Crouch, one bounce, runs to the 45, lines up. Oh, wonderful finish. There was the spear man. Intelligent play there by Crouch. Well, he didn't have an opponent. Farmer was his opponent, so he just pushed forward and made himself dangerous. Very well done, son. Marching back to two goals. Kirk from the middle, long hand, a good mark for Hantel. Parker peels off, back pocket, spotted, and hit. Short option on from Carr, he ignores that. Runs the full 15, loads up long, it's over the head of Shammer. And the mark has been taken by Matthews, half back flank for the Swans. Matthews towards centre half back. So predictable, but it works. Crouch to Barry. Spots another moving target, that's James. Barry, with his experience, tells James to run. James goes long towards Harford. Push to the back, Roberts tops it. Up hands O'Keefe. Advantage has been paid down the hall in this square. The umpire's a very good judge. In body on body, side by side, just too strong. Four goals now to Barry Hall. And that's an important one. The margin out to three goals. Hard work, though. Been impressed with O'Keefe's efforts today. Lit up the ground pretty well. His hands have been very good. Constructive. 40 seconds remaining to three-quarter time. And Ablott again gets another one to Matthews. To full forward. Schneider. Did he mark it? Umpire said no. Woods. Hall. Lost it. Tackled by Schneider. Adler is perfect. And will get a ball up. There'll be a bit of... Fear, bit of panic here with the backman for the Dockers. 15 metres straight out. Lock continues to run, tossed up. Sandlins arrives. Up very high was Jude Bolton. Down to O'Keefe. Back to Bolton. Snaps. Oh, well done. Good feed off. The fear was justified. Late goal. And that is a body blow for the Dockers. 81 to 57. Bolton did it all. He was the man that went over the top of the two jousting Ruckman. And then got it back to kick the goal. Watch it. Well, no, no, I was just talked about O'Keefe as well. Just stood up in the tackle, waits for somebody to appear to the front. That's probably what saved Bolton. Lost his opponent there on that occasion. The fact that he went out, he was third man up in the uh, tap out. Hit the ground running. Purely the handball receives. Sydney are running better. Goods in front, interfered with by the inexperienced Ruckman McFarlane. So Goods gets the free, forward of the wing, chips towards the 45, ball on his chest, that was strong. Andrew tumbled down behind him, got tangled in his legs, ball would not be brought down. And the top, Roberts Thompson, did he touch it? No. His teammate O'Keefe has taken the mark. 25 metres out directly in front, gone by goes a long way. I think it's
that's okay, it is. That makes it very hard for the Dockers. There's Bell, meantime, adding his skills out of defence. The car over the top to Gilmore, who runs away. Looks towards the middle to no one in particular. Hard surface, icy surface, hard to run on. Goods did well, though. Get to Matthews, to Saddington, 60 metres from goal. It's a hand pass across to Williams. Back it comes to Goods. Well, he fumbled. The crowd anticipating there, but nothing came of it. Parker jams the ball back towards half-back. Stumbling, Fosdyke goes back to Williams. Williams, close to the boundary. Ball has it now. Pulls it back for Hall. Handrel to his feet, claimed immediately by Roberts Thompson, picked up by Gilmore. And the Docker defence holds up at least for the moment. Not a good kick coming out though. Hard and flat to the wrong man, James. Can't Matthews. No. But Matthews in characteristic fashion generally uses it pretty well. I'm not sure that was his intention. But the lurking Schneider is 25 metres out directly in front. At the 14th for the Swans. Puts it through. Distance. Pavlich in from the side. Up he goes. Couldn't hang on. He's annoyed with himself. Should have marked that. A little one-two between Bolton and Fosdyke. Jude Bolton. Goes back to the middle now. For his namesake. Bolton runs inside the centre square. Hall. Oh, wonderful kick. Beat Fremantle by 77 points on this ground. Likes it. Ball's got fire. O'Keefe. Halfback flank. And still they chew up seconds. They retreat. They might be able to go. Leo Barry's on now. And he pops it up. That's a dangerous ball with three seconds left on the clock. He's a nice, nice fella, Hayden, isn't he? A 31-point victory to the Sydney Swans. And the Dockers got to it in two points in the third term. But it was all the Swans after that. Barry Hall with five goals. One of the stars of the show.